Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a video for kind of back to school. Um, as you know, it is the school season and my girls just started back up at school about, about three weeks ago, I would say. And sometimes it's a struggle for your kids to read. Fortunately, my kids love to read. They read every single night but I know it is required by our school that they have to have at least 20 minutes of reading every single day. So I wanted to make a video of how to make it fun for kids to read. Make it exciting. Don't just say, okay, here's a book, read it. Let's do something fun for them and get them excited about reading. So here are some of my tips on how to make reading fun. Tip number one, my kids love forts. So what I did was I took my kitchen table and I covered it with blankets, put another blanket down, so put some pillows in there, a flashlight, and then added some of her favorite books in there. And then of course I got some popcorn and to add little fun to the popcorn, I put in some Reese's pieces. They're just little babies. And she really enjoyed this. She took the flashlight out and started reading underneath her fort. The cats joined her. They had a great time. I also turned all of the lights out so that way the flashlight would shine a little bit easier. She ate some popcorn and just had a really, really fun time reading that day. I actually got up in there with her and started reading with her as well. A stack of letters with his name on them. My second tip is find a friend, a little reading buddy or study buddy, and bring them over and have kind of a themed type play date slash reading date. So what I did was I took some coconut, put some green in it to make it look like grass. I have some chocolate pudding here, adding the grass to it. And then I put a few pumpkins in there for a pumpkin patch. And then the kids home from school and they had a big surprise. We had some pumpkin books for them and they ate their snack, which they really enjoyed. And then they read 10 Little Pumpkins and they also had another book called Pumpkin Day, which matched our theme so well. Also, Sophia enjoyed the fort so much that she really wanted to do another fort for a reading day. After the kids were done reading we wanted to go over their vocabulary and spelling and a friend of mine actually came up with this she made a little chart of questions and answers and they had to match vocabulary words to the sentences which I thought was genius so this was such a good idea they had so much fun they thought it was more of a game than it was of studying The next tip is let your kids stay up just a tiny bit later than their normal schedule and give them a little clip light where they clip it onto their book and then they have a light that shines down on the words and there's plenty of light coming off of this lamp so it does not strain their eyes whatsoever. Sophia really enjoys this as well as Allison. This is how we got Allison to start reading was because we said, okay, you could stay up 10 extra minutes and lay in bed and read your book and they absolutely love this it's also fun reading on vacation just give them a cozy little spot to sit in and you can't beat this view you listen to the waves and read your book And finally, my last tip is take them to the park and let them get their energy out and then find a nice shade tree and let them sit underneath there and read a book. But instead, Sophia wanted to sit in the tree and read a book. So you can do that as well if you're daring enough to do so. Reading, rock.